Hello everyone, uh, it's Mikaias here. Welcome to another video here on the Marvelous Match. And this is uh, the last video about loops. And in this video we are going to practice a little bit and we are going to write an algorithm that prints uh, the first nth numbers. Uh, or, or better, uh, the first nth prime numbers. And so we are going to test to see if a, a number is a prime number. And then if uh, it's a prime number, we count one more and then we test until we find the next and the next until we get to the number of prime numbers we want. So what we need uh, to start is like a variable to count the number of prime numbers. So count prime and we will initialize it as zero. And then we need uh, uh, our goal of prime numbers. And we will initialize it as zero too. And we need uh, the numbers that we will be testing. So the number we will initialize it as one. And then, uh, so, uh, well, let's give it for number two or our goal just it's easier to if you think uh because we what we want to do we want to find the prime numbers and then we will increase our count prime until it's equal ten it's equal the goal so what we are, we are going to do is while and then the condition will be uh count prime is less than goal because count prime tell how many prime numbers we found and while it's less than our goal we need to keep looking for prime numbers and uh, since we want to test a different number every time we run the loop we always need to increase uh, the number we are testing so number is equal a number plus one and doing that we make sure that we are always testing a new number and if you see here uh, we are not going to test one because we know that a one is a uh, is not a prime number and uh, if you need to remember what a prime number is a prime number is every number that can be uh, that is divisible just uh, by itself and by one so for example five uh, and we are talking here just about the integers. So uh, five is not divisible by four, is not divisible by three, is not divisible by two, it's just divisible by five itself and by one. So every number that meets this two, this condition, it's a prime number. So uh, now we have the number we are going to test to see if it's a prime number. And how are we going to test? So we need to divide the number we are testing by all the numbers that are less than half of this number. So let's say if we are testing 10, we need to divide 10 by two, by three, by four, by five. And if, if 10 is divisible by one of these numbers, then it's not a prime number. And the reason why we don't need to, to go uh, beyond uh, 5 is that we know that uh, a number is not divisible by any number greater than the half of it. So uh, 10 is not divisible by any number greater than uh, 5. Okay, so uh, for uh, I in and then here we need to start in two because every number is divisible by uh one so we don't want to start in one otherwise we uh, it will always say that our number is not a primary number so uh we start in two and go into number divided by two but uh we need to make sure here that we are got we are getting the quotient 
of the division uh, because if we don't do that R will give us a double and we want to just integer so to make sure we are getting the quotient of the division we need to use the symbol of uh, percentage before and after the, the division and then we use uh, divided by i and we need to put it between parentheses so we have our second loop and now you see that we have one loop inside the other because we are looping the while but we and this loop counts the number of prime numbers we have found and then we have a second loop to test if the number we have now is a prime number or not and we need to uh, always start with the supposition that a number is a prime number so we will use a boolean and say prime num is prime equal uh, true and then uh, we will have our condition now uh, Uh, here is two, so we want to go to half, we want to divide the number by, by all the numbers between two and half the number, and here is our condition. So if uh, our number, uh, if the reminder of the division, and to find the reminder we use the symbol of percentage two times, between the number and i is uh, equal zero then that means that the number we have is divisible by i so we will uh, say that it's not a prime so its prime will be changed to false and uh, the other thing we need to be careful is that uh, when we have uh, our number equal to here the quotient will be 1 and then R will run this I equal 2 and then I equal 1 so it will give us a problem so we need to add, uh, add two conditions here so our number needs to be different than 2 because also we already know that 2 is a prime number and uh, our number needs to be different than 3 and we also know that 3 is a prime number so if a number is equal to or our number is equal to 3 it is a prime number uh, we just need to make sure that air won't mess up here uh and then uh once we get out of the loop that is testing if a number is a prime number we if the number is prime then we then is prime it will be true uh because this condition won't be met and then we can uh print our prime number so if uh is prime uh we need to increase our count prime and we can print and to print this time I will use a function called paste and I have to do another video showing how to use this function uh, but basically when you want to print numbers and strings together in R you need to use paste so uh, we will say that the uh, prime number we are testing, if it's a prime number, we will print it. Uh, prime number. So it will be i that is the, or better, uh, we are using here our count prime. So. When we found our, when we find our first prime number, it will say uh, first prime number, and then we put here um, the number we found, and then here I need to say if I want space. Uh, 
Okay, so I will be printing when I found the second, I will print the second prime number, third prime number, and so on. So we are uh, looking for the 10 first prime numbers. So let's see if this works. And uh, that seems to be working. These are all prime numbers. And we could uh, be a little bit more bold and we could try to find the first 100 uh, prime numbers. And uh, yeah, it seems good. Seems to be working very well. And you could uh, put any goal here. The only problem is that your computer may run out of memory at some point. So uh, that's it. We we made an algorithm that uh, prints the first end numbers, and uh, I hope it helped you to understand better how to use YO and uh, how to use um, if uh, how to use YO and how to use for. And you see the difference here is that uh, in the in the first loop, when we used while we didn't know how many times we were going to repeat this process here, but this process, this part inside of the for, we knew how many, how many times we wanted to repeat. So that's the basically difference that you difference that you need to keep in mind. And I hope uh, you you find. Uh, doing it fun so uh, thanks for watching and i see you in the next video bye